In this video, I'm going to demonstrate hooking up GR satellites to a Python script with 0MQ so that we can take decoded uh, telemetry streams and get access to them in Python so we can do whatever we want with them from there. So first I'll walk through the flow graphs that I have. Uh, the first one is just a slight modification of the 3cat underscore 2 example. Um, application that's included in GR satellites. So I've done a couple things to this flow graph. Uh, number one, I've removed a couple of extraneous blocks, uh, like a telemetry publisher thing, uh, that I don't actually need for this example, uh, but really no functional changes like that. And I've added this 0MQ pub message sync. What this does is it publishes messages that it receives. Um, onto uh, this port over this connection. So what we'll do on the Python side is hook up uh, to the same port, same connection, and we'll subscribe to any messages and we'll be able to receive anything that this flow graph happens to generate and send out. The second flow graph is this wave 48 kilohertz source. Uh, what this is doing is allows us to play back a recording uh, from a radio that's that's got uh, the raw data. And this flow graph is what's doing the demodulation and the uh, pulling the, the bits out of the radio stream. On the Python side, we have a simple modification to uh, the example code that's given when doing a 0MQ pub sub publish subscribe system. Uh, so this is just the subscriber side since the publisher is provided by GNU Radio. What we're doing here is setting up the 0MQ connection uh, on the same uh, port as we're sending it out on from GNU Radio. We're also setting up a subscribe option with an empty string here. What this will do is allow us to subscribe to any type of message. If I were to enter a string here, messages that didn't start with that string would be filtered out and we wouldn't receive them. Um, as you'll see in a minute, the messages in this example kind of start with a whole bunch of data that doesn't really constitute a string, so we can't do any filtering yet, uh, but we can just pull off whatever happens to get it sent out from GNU Radio, so that's what we're going to do. And then in a forever loop, we're just receiving uh, raw data, and then we're printing it out, and we'll see what that looks like in a second. So to get this all going, I'm going to start up my subscriber script, so it's now running and waiting for messages. Then I'll start up the uh, demodulation script, which will send out telemetry over that 0MQ connection when it decodes stuff. And then we'll play the recording, which is the raw data getting fed into the script. And you can see here, um, we've got a debug output from GNU Radio. Um, and this is actually provided by the 3cat telemetry parser and it gives us a bit of a reference so that we can see that things are working on the Python side. So if you notice here uh, we have 8.27 volts and 233 milliamps. If we go over to the Python script and see what we've decoded or pulled out rather uh, we've got a whole bunch of kind of to me meaningless bytes uh, but then we have a little bit of interesting stuff that we can map back um, to what we saw in the debug output in GNU Radio. So we have 8268 and 233. Um, those numbers are kind of familiar. So 8268, uh, if we go back to GNU Radio, we had 8.27 volts. So it's pretty clear here that what the satellite is doing is sending out uh, the, I guess, the battery voltage in millivolts. And then the proper telemetry parser is uh, rounding that a little bit and uh, shifting the decimal point around so that it's in volts. And on the current, uh, we have a reading of 233 milliamps. It's pretty clear that the raw data being sent by the satellite is just the number of milliamps. Um, and the rest of this data kind of lines up as well um, if you go through and, and sort it out. So what we've shown here is that uh, from a script that's 
demodulating radio data and syncing to the stream and creating PDUs, we can uh, send over that data uh, over 0MQ, grab it in a Python script, and from here we can do whatever we want. We could strip off all this stuff at the beginning. We could go format this data just kind of like uh, the telemetry parser block in GNU Radio did, or we could do whatever else with it. So it's uh, pretty flexible.